China has just unveiled a new breakthrough in high-speed aerospace technology. Reports reveal that its H-6N bombers are being equipped with the DF-100 supersonic cruise missile, capable of reaching speeds near Mach 4 and traveling up to 4,000 kilometers. This new air launch system isn't just fast, it's reshaping how the world views precision, distance, and defense strategy. The DF-100, also known as the CJ-100, is one of China's most advanced long-range cruise missiles. Unlike the slower, older subsonic cruise missiles, this one reportedly travels at Mach 4, or about 4,900 km per hour, allowing it to cover immense distances in record time. Its range, estimated between 3,000 and 4,000 km, makes it one of the farthest-reaching supersonic missiles in the world. What sets the DF-100 apart is its ramjet propulsion system, a type of air-breathing engine designed for sustained supersonic flight. This allows the missile to maintain its speed for long durations, offering higher energy and improved efficiency at high altitudes. Its guidance system reportedly combines satellite navigation, terrain-following radar, and precision terminal guidance, helping it strike with remarkable accuracy, potentially within just a few meters of its intended point. Unlike ballistic systems that follow predictable high arcs, the DF-100 flies low and fast, hugging the terrain to stay beneath radar coverage. This low-altitude flight profile makes detection extremely challenging. Its aerodynamic design enables high maneuverability, allowing it to alter its course mid-flight, reducing predictability and improving survivability against interception attempts. What's truly fascinating is how China has expanded its application. The People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, PLARF, already deploys the DF-100 from ground-based launchers, but recent reports suggest that the People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLAF, has integrated it with the H-6N bomber, a new generation aircraft designed specifically for carrying large air launch payloads. The H-6N is a modified version of the earlier H-6K, featuring aerial refueling capability, extended range, and a unique recessed underbelly mount designed for oversized missiles. By carrying the DF-100 in this configuration, the bomber becomes a mobile, long-range precision platform, able to release its missile thousands of kilometers from any runway. Now, let's dive into what makes the air-launched DF-100 so transformative. While China's earlier land-based missile systems like the DF-21D and DF-26 already extended its defensive reach, both are limited by geography. They must be fired from known locations on the ground. That means they can be tracked, monitored, or even preemptively detected by satellites or reconnaissance aircraft. The H-6N bomber, on the other hand, changes that equation completely. With its in-air refueling probe and long endurance, it can take off, refuel midair, and reposition hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away before releasing the DF-100. This allows it to attack from unconventional directions, north, south, or even from open ocean routes where few expect to launch. Reports describe this as a potential bolt-from-the-blue tactic, not because of aggression, but because it's so sudden and difficult to predict. Instead of a single launch, multiple H-6NS could, in theory, release several DF-100S in coordinated timing, a salvo designed to overwhelm defensive sensors and response systems. The physics behind this are astonishing. A missile moving at Mach 4, launched from 2,000 miles away, could reach its destination in less than 40 minutes. That leaves little time for any detection to intercept sequence. In modern defense systems, even a few minutes make the difference between an intercept and a miss. The DF-100 speed and low radar cross-section mean it could fly under many existing radar detection layers, evading traditional early warning setups. According to a report published by the National Security Journal, analysts highlight that even the most advanced defensive frameworks, such as the U.S. Navy's Aegis Combat System, or SM, six interceptors, would face serious challenges tracking multiple high-speed, low-flying cruise missiles approaching simultaneously from varying directions. In such a scenario, defense would require far greater coordination across satellites, airborne radars, and network sensors. The challenge isn't just the speed, it's the angle of approach. Ground-based detection systems are often oriented toward expected vectors, 
a fast-moving target arriving from a different direction reduces reaction time even further. However, this is where innovation drives adaptation. In response to such technological leaps, defense planners are exploring advanced multi-domain detection networks, integrating AI-driven tracking, real-time satellite coverage, and interceptor systems capable of autonomous coordination. The emergence of the DF-100 in the H-6NS arsenal has far-reaching implications beyond any single region. It's not just another weapon. It represents a technological milestone that redefines how range, precision, and versatility interact on the global stage. At a strategic level, the DF-100 enhances what analysts call standoff capability, the ability to engage distant targets without exposing launch platforms to immediate risk. This is especially important for air launch systems, where the bomber can remain well outside the reach of traditional defense zones. With its 3,000 to 4,000 kilometer range and Mach 4 velocity, the DF-100 bridges the gap between subsonic cruise missiles like the CJ-10 and hypersonic systems still under development. It's not technically hypersonic, but its combination of speed and maneuverability puts it in a class that many defense experts describe as quasi-hypersonic. Moreover, by enabling both ground and air launch, the DF-100 introduces multidimensional flexibility. Ground-based launchers provide stable, protected deployment, while the H-6 in platform introduces surprise, mobility, and variable geometry, making tracking and anticipation exponentially harder. From a global perspective, this technology symbolizes how the next phase of aerospace competition is no longer about raw power but precision, speed, and system integration. The DF-100 reflects the maturity of China's aerospace industry. An ability to combine propulsion physics, guidance systems, and launch adaptability into one coherent platform. International analysts, including those cited by South China Morning Post and Defense News, Note that this progression doesn't necessarily alter existing power balances overnight, but it does redefine strategic calculations. Fleets, bases, and command structures will now factor in new threat vectors, forcing global powers to expand their detection grids, harden communication systems, and rethink response times. Beyond defense circles, the DF-100 also carries a message about technological pacing. Its development highlights how rapidly the line between next generation and current generation is blurring. Systems once considered theoretical, like air-launched, high-speed cruise missiles, are now operational realities. This progress fuels further innovation, advancements in sensor fusion, aerial refueling logistics, AI-assisted targeting, and long-range surveillance. Each of these components plays into a broader shift toward precision-based, time-sensitive capabilities rather than brute force. The DF-100 represents more than just another addition to an arsenal. It marks a milestone in the evolution of aerospace technology. By combining Mach 4 velocity, 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers range, and air launch capability from the H-6 and bomber, China has demonstrated how engineering precision and system integration can redefine long-range deterrence and rapid response capabilities. What can we learn from this? The future of advanced technology isn't defined by size or numbers, it's shaped by speed, intelligence, and adaptability. The DF-100 serves as a preview of where global aerospace design is heading. Systems that move faster, react smarter, and think further ahead than ever before. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spacesinus.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.